In London, the scandal over tabloid phone hacking is getting hotter and taking some very prominent officials down with it. Uh, yes, very big news, and each and every day it's something new. Over the weekend, the head of Scotland Yard resigned, and a top official in Rupert Murdoch's newspaper empire was arrested. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer has the latest now from London this morning. Liz, good morning again. Morning again. Investigations into alleged wrongdoing at the Murdoch Papers have lurched along in this country for years. But two weeks ago, when the story broke that a murdered teenager's phone had been hacked, the police suddenly moved into high gear. Rebecca Brooks, the former Murdoch editor and British CEO, has now been bailed after her arrest yesterday. She spent several hours answering police questions in connection with the phone hacking and bribery investigation at the Murdoch Papers. Dirty tricks are alleged to have gone on while she was in charge. Just over a week ago, Rupert Murdoch himself flew to London and made it clear his number one priority then was to shield Brooks at almost any cost. He closed the news of the world to try and defend Rebecca Brooks. He gave up on his bid to take over B Sky B to defend Rebecca Brooks. He even agreed to give evidence to a Commons committee to defend Re Rebecca Brooks. It's not work. The fallout from this scandal has exposed the unhealthily close and possibly corrupt relationship between Rupert Murdoch's papers, the police and Britain's political elite. Yesterday, the surprise resignation of London's police chief underlined that. Sir Paul Stevenson isn't suspected of doing anything wrong himself, but it was on his watch that a former News of the World editor, since arrested in connection with illegal phone hacking, was hired as a PR consultant to the police force. All eyes are going to be on the parliamentary committee. Now, tomorrow, Rupert Murdoch, his son James, and Rebecca Brooks are all going to be in the hot seat and the proceedings will be broadcast live. Chris? Uh, it's going to be interesting, interesting television. CBS's Liz Palmer in London for us this morning. Liz, thanks.